How's it going guys? It's John. This is Rad 13. I think it's actually 13 this time. Uh, Rad 2. <laughs> Episode 13, not Rad 13. <laughs> We're not that far in the future. Uh, okay. So I did a bunch of building last time. I'm sure you already seen it. I did this room over here. I still need to finish it up. I need to put paintings and stuff because I don't like how barren these walls look. Like, particularly like right here and then over here. I need to put some paintings or something. Looks a little barren. Anyways, oh, look at that nice view, dude. That looks nice out there. Look at all that water. Dude, shaders. Man, every time I, like, pay attention to the shaders, I'm just like, oh, my God. How did I... How did I play Minecraft without shaders before? Okay, anyways. <clears throat> we're gonna talk about shit that we did. Some of this I did in the last episode, but I just deleted it from the video because it didn't really fit with the building. Uh, So I did this. This dislocation ring. Oh uh, god, it makes all these tooltips come up. See, it says at the top, instantly collects any dropped items within 16 block radius. This can be disabled while holding shift. So I upgraded it from that magnetic ring that I got. Oh, I didn't even know you could craft this. I thought I got it from a drop. Can I make anything else? Ring of Ender? Allows you to remotely access your Ender chest. Renders piglins neutral when worn. I don't really mind getting in fights. Yeah, so I had this magnetic ring. I can't remember if I got it from loot or what. And I was looking through the recipes for this Enigmatic Legacy, this mod. Dude, this mod has tons of crazy, uh... I'm like, ooh, what's this? I can't even talk anymore because I'm like, ooh, pretty letters. Um, it's got super OP, like, rings and stuff like this. But this is, like, some, like, super hard mode thing. Look at this, Ring of the Seven Curses. It will persist with you forever. It, like, curses you. Look at, we receive double damage, neutral... Creatures are regressive towards you. Holy shit. I want to see fucking sheep and all that get like want to kill you. That must be hilarious. Armor is 30% less effective. It's basically like super duper hard mode. But look at the rewards on the bottom. You get looting, fortune, 400% XP. Oh, plus 10 enchanting power. Man, look at that. It reminds me of the super hard mode like on Terraria, the master mode or whatever. And so they have a bunch of these. Uh, they have a bunch of these unique trinkets that you could only use if you are a bearer of one of the seven curses or whatever this ring look at that it takes oh so you'd have to get netherite plus the ring of ender i don't even know what the hell that is from twilight forest that's interesting i think you could buy one from the shop up here so see if you wanted to do it like right away <sighs> where is it did he take it out oh here it is 500 so see you could just buy one you can put it on the crazy master mode. Speaking of which, I need to buy more waystones because I'm tired of going around. I'll talk about the leap spell too if you didn't see the last episode. So anyways, the long and the short is I made this super duper ring and it's really nice because it picks up items from super far away. Uh, I made this monster emblem, emblem of the monster slayer because I finally went to the nether and mined some netherite. I only found a little bit, but I was able to find at least some. And I made this charm. Look at this baby. 25% damage against undead creatures. 10% damage against aggressive creatures. Plus one looting level. Oh yeah, and then slain monsters drop double XP. That's hot, dude. That's pretty badass that we have that. And this goes in our charm slot. Um, I had this idea <laughs> where I was like, I wonder. Because I was looking at the mo uh, the mods and stuff. There's this, there's like these bows that you can upgrade. You can build all these like tons of upgrades for them. And I had this wonderful idea. Oh my god, look at all these souls. We got four souls. <gasps> we might be able to make our sword today. Holy shit. Um, anyways. In order for these souls to pop up, lightning has to come down and hit them. And then it adds a soul. And you can use the soul to do the disenchanting and all that. Yeah, see, I have some disenchantment books here. Um, so it's almost like a resource. So I had this idea where I was like, yeah, we could use these bows. And then put this lightning upgrade on the bow. And then, you know, shoot a lightning bolt on the graveyard. And then, you know, I would be able to farm souls that way. Well, it didn't fucking work. So this shit does not work. Like, the lightning bolts that have to hit the graves, it's just like a natural lightning bolt from the mod, Corel Tombstone. It's not something you can cheese. Or maybe there is another method of cheesing it that I just don't know about. But at least with this method of spawning a lightning bolt, it don't work. Uh, I made the Obsidian Skull also. If you don't know, you can get a Cobalt Shield. I think you can craft it, right? Yeah, with this Resplendent Token, which you get from Spectral Silt. And you can get Spectral Silt from shredding these, uh, like, see, you get Cross, Necklace, Broken Heart by making these Disintegration Tablets. 
So you can use the spectral silt to make this resplendent token. You can use the resplendent token to make all of these uh, different uh, trinkets. So see, look at you could make a lucky horseshoe like that if you don't have one. You haven't gotten a lucky drop yet. Or even the magic mirror, that's really nice. Sunglasses is kind of nice for the immunity to blindness. Uh, definitely the horseshoe. That is like the most OP fucking thing. And look at you can even make the balloon together with the horseshoe, combine them together, and you get like extra jump. Plus, you don't take fall damage anymore. Anyways, my point was I was talking about the cobalt shield. Cobalt shield is really nice. Gives you knockback resistance. Oh, grants immunity to knockback. Hmm. I thought it was just knockback resistance. A hundred knockback resistance. Anyways, uh, what I was saying. What do I do? Right click. Yeah, so you can combine together, if you never played Terraria, you can combine together the Cobalt Shield and the Obsidian Skull. Obsidian Skull gives you immunity to burning, 50% uh, fire damage. You still take damage from lava, but it makes you immune to burning damage at least. So that's really good, you should definitely make one. It's not too bad, just Maga Cream, Blaze Powder, and then you just need a head. You don't, I don't think it matters what head, yeah, see it, it could be like a skeleton head, zombie head, whatever, it doesn't matter. And then obsidian. So this is really nice. And then uh, all this talking. You combine them together. So you get both benefits. You get 100% knockback resistance. And then you also get partial fire resistance. So that's really OP. And that is what I did. Eventually, once you have more of these buffs, you can combine them together into this Ankh charm. Where it makes you like immune to most status effects. And then you can combine this Ankh charm with the shield and make the onk shield which basically makes you immune to like all status effects it's hell op it's from terraria like i said if you never played terraria very fucking cool oh, okay and then this thingy i made this uh this is from enigmatic legacy i believe yeah it basically will suck up all of your xp or else it will can i turn it on yeah you can activate it or deactivate it did I put it on? Oh, I put it on extraction. Okay, let's put it on absorption. It basically is like this void thing. You put it on this slot, this arcane slot, and it will either suck up all of your XP as you're seeing it do, or you can make it so it, uh, it's basically like an XP battery. It'll hold unlimited amounts of XP as you see it doing. All the XP will get sucked to this thing, and then if you want to take all the XP out, you have to unequip it and then you click right click to change the mode to extraction and it'll give you all the XP back. So I'm just using this for now because I don't have on Corail, I want this 100% XP retained on death, but I don't have it yet because I don't have knowledge of death seven. So in the meantime, I got to use this lovely warding scroll or the scroll of ageless, ageless wisdom to do that same thing until I get higher level uh, for knowledge of death. Oh, I figured out how to respect my knowledge of death, too. If you don't know, you can get your Ankh. And then, uh, I think you, like, left-click or right-click on a cross or, you know, on a grave that has a soul. I don't think it uses the soul. Oh, wait, maybe it does use the soul. I think it does. I don't want to do it because I don't want to waste my Ankh or the soul. That's how you can reset your Corail tombstones. And then also, don't put points into these because they're already max level. And it, like, when I put my points into these, it was eating my points. So don't do that. They're still there, they're just, you know, stuck in this talent and you can't take it out unless you respect. So please don't put points in those. Maybe he fixed it, maybe it's fixed now because he's released like two patches or whatever, I don't know. I've already updated and I haven't tried it since and I don't want to try it. Um, but this one definitely is hell OP. I'm sure if you don't play with keep inventory, you probably want the key one or uh, one of these other ones. Probably the key one because it'll let you teleport back to your grave. But I play with keep inventory, so that's worthless. So I want that scribe and that memento mori. Last thing. Oh. Uh, last thing we're talking about is I made a bunch more of these spell glyphs. Um, if you don't know, you can just look it up. There's a ton. Yeah, look at this. There's a shitload of glyphs for Ars Novo. You can make tons of crazy spells. Look at There's a lightning one. I wonder if that one would work for the grave. We have to try that. Summon steed. They have a ton of glyphs. Look at that. Is that gliding? Oh, it's... Lighting, not flying. Uh, anyway, so I made some more glyphs. I made these amplifying glyphs to make your spells a lot stronger. I made some mining spells. I made a heal spell finally, although God knows if I'll remember to use it. Arcane Bolt. I thought I... I guess I took off Amplify on that. This is the best thing. Uh, I showed it in that last episode of mine. 
Goddamn leaf spell. One of my viewers told me to make a leaf spell. I'm sorry, I don't remember who it was. Um, if you know who you are, well, you know who you are. And thank you for telling me about the leaf spell. <laughs> um, so you got to put self, leap. I use an amplify. You don't have to use amplify if you don't want to. It makes it not jump as far. Um, but yeah, you put on amplify on this shit. Look at this. Like, you fucking, you fly. Oops, wrong spell. You fly look at that you go hella far and uh only one leap only takes like what a tenth of the mana or something like that and you could space it out like you can pretty much just click every couple of seconds or so like a second or two and you can just stay flying basically with leap spell it changed my life that spell is fucking amazing i think that's about it i'm pretty sure that's all the shit that i did last time mm. Okay, so what are we doing this time? Now that we're done yapping, I want to finish this second floor. I'm going to probably actually do this right now. I was thinking about while I was doing the video for uh, this first floor, I still need to finish this too. It looks so barren. I think I'm going to put plants right here. I'm going to put some more grass over here and put some... Some... Uh, I'm going to put dirt instead. I wonder if it'll still transfer the grass, even though there's a space. See, I'm already getting distracted. Uh, will it work, I wonder? I don't know if it'll work. I think grass can hop over one square, can it? I have no idea. I don't really want to, like, figure it out, so I'm just going to put dirt like that instead. Just put this puppy here. Uh, I got distracted. What was he talking about? I was talking about... Oh, yeah. While I was filming, making this last section of the house, um, there was so many times I was just talking to myself. So I was like, dude, next time I'm building, I'm just going to record me talking to you, And I'm not going to do a no commentary thing. And we'll see how it comes out. And if I like it, then I probably won't do no commentary videos ever again. Because I talk too much by myself anyway. So there's really no point. Where's my stupid torch thing? Oh, there it is. Uh, so there's no point in me doing no commentary videos if this motherfucker's talking all the time. Anyway, so yeah. I'm going to actually do this second floor right now. Um, it's just I'm just going to make one room. Probably up to here. I don't think I'm going to... Um, probably not gonna decorate it i just really wanna when i was making it over here i wanted to make like a floor to ceiling uh like thin windows but like separated with the gap between the walls you know like there's one window and then there's a wall one window and then a wall and like going up the stairs you know kind of like at an angle i thought that would look so cool so i'm gonna do that right now <sighs> So basically what I'm trying to say is if you don't want to see building, then skip <laughs> skip ahead. I'm going to do other stuff too. Oh yeah, we're supposed to talk about what we're going to do. I want to fight the wither. So we're probably going to do that. Farm wither skulls. Uh, We don't need to farm terracotta. I think we're pretty much done with that. I farmed all that terracotta and I didn't even realize I had a ton of terracotta in my, my storage. I need to find a village so I can pray for the villagers because I found out if you pray on the graves with your Ankh, it only gives you plus one knowledge of death. But if you pray for villagers, it actually gives you plus three. So I was like, what? And that's hella good. So I need to find a village. I'm going to probably jump around the world and try and find a village. I want to farm Wither Skulls. I just need two Wither Skulls so we can fight the Wither. Um, I'm going to just take this off. Cause, you know, I'm already working on this house. So it's kind of like whatever. I didn't do that roof garden, but I'm just going to do the room for now. Compost soil. That sounds like a lot of work. Another one of my viewers is saying to make this compost soil. It'll like automatic. You can't break it if you step on it. It sounds really OP, but I, it sounds like a lot of work. I kind of don't want to work on it. I need to make. I need to make a bunch of eye enders so I can find the stronghold so we can do dimensional dungeons, which I do want to do. Uh, I need to farm more zombies. Oh, I forgot about right here. We need to consolidate the OP enchants onto the sword. That's probably the first thing I'm going to do. Although I think I only have two disenchant uh, books. So we may not have. Yeah, because I'll be able to disenchant the weapon. And then I'm going to have to put enchants 
back onto it. So I'll only be able to disenchant one other weapon to get enchants. Hmm. I'm not sure. I have to figure out, like, which one is the most OP combination of damage enchants. Farm gas tiers for hell shelves. Uh, shovel, soul, sand for treasure. That's something I saw. You can get gas tiers from treasure from shoveling soul sand. So that's something you should know in case you need gas tiers. Because fuck trying to find gas. It's, like, almost impossible with all these million new nether mobs. Build monster portal arena. I was thinking about building in the desert, actually. That's why I was thinking about setting up a teleporter down there, one of the waystones. I might set a teleporter down there because it would be cool to have an arena in the desert. But we might also do that. Ender mending on diamond armor. Yeah, we ain't doing that yet. Okay, so for sure, probably wither skulls. Oh, so much, so much. I'm gonna do that sword too. But first we need to finish building uh, this top area. So, like I said, if you, uh, you know, if you don't wanna hear building, you don't wanna watch the boring ass building, well, you are free to look away and, uh, you know, skip ahead on the video. I have no idea how long this is going to take me, so it could be the whole damn video. Who knows? <laughs> uh, okay. That should be good. <sighs> okay, so... I feel like I should probably build the second floor first before I do this wall. Because I don't want it to look weird. So I, I don't want it to be all the way to the ceiling. I just want it, like, maybe five up or four up. Probably four. So we need a floor. I don't know what we're going to use for the floor in this place. So, oh, I've totally forgot. What I need to do is I got to go look at my references. I took a bunch of reference pictures because if you don't know, I'm this house is based off of uh, Rune Factory Tides of Destiny. So I'm looking at reference pictures to see how big to make this area. It looks like it's about four. Oh, so that means it's further back then. Looking at this staircase, the staircase starts there. It's about four, one, two, three, four. So the wall is actually right here. I think I might just put a ton of terracotta like all over this. I kind of don't want to mess with this. Looks like there's there's like a level of you know like a little thing like a staircase uh what are they called hand guard or staircase guard whatever the fuck it's called hmm if I put a wall here is that gonna stop it? I don't want to obstruct it too much because it's going to mess with the point of view. Where are you going? I changed my spell to ray, like a laser beam, and now I can't see shit. Because <laughs> of all these particles. Am I healing him? I think I am healing him. Yeah, I seen a two there. Man, I'm gonna have to make another spell then. I didn't know he was healed by arcane damage. Alright, anyways. You better not attack me, you little shit. He's gonna attack me, I already know it. I forgot to put away this stupid bow too. I should chuck that in my inventory. I should probably just go to sleep. I love how the like world looks with the shaders though, so that's why I'm like kinda not wanting to go to sleep. Hey, you wanna come down here? Why don't you come down here so I can beat the shit out of you? Oh wait, what am I thinking? We'll just whack you. <laughs> oh, come here, you little shit. This is gonna get hard. I mean, I could use the glider. That's what I should be doing. Did I hit him? I'm over here trying to build and you bugging.
<laughs> Ooh, you're gonna make me fuck up my plants, and then I'm really gonna kill you. This is a lot harder than look. Oh. Alright, anyways, where was I? I don't like when ceilings are too close to stairs like this because I feel like it obstructs your view. And then also, when you're running downstairs at high speed, your head like bashes in the ceilings like this. So I always feel like pushing back. Oops, god damn it, I forgot I have this crazy pickaxe. I always feel like I need to push back ceilings. Like this looks good because I feel like it's not obstructing your head, you know? But man, when you have, when it's too close to the stairs like this, look, it's like a two or three gap. I feel like it's too much. Like it's too close. It's gonna obstruct you or something. I don't know. You know what I mean. If you've built in Minecraft, you know what I'm talking about. Although, now that I think about it, we're gonna have that floor to ceiling window, which is four. There's gonna be five right here. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess. What are we doing? We're doing four squares, I think, for the ceiling. I don't remember. One, two, three, four, five. This one's a higher ceiling than usual. See, this is the normal one. One, two, three, four. I feel like four is good. I used to do five tall ceilings, but I feel like it's just too tall at that point. I feel like four is pretty good. Three is too short. Four, I feel, is like a nice balance where it looks good, but not too tall, you know? So we're going to go with four. Three, four. I forgot to look at the reference. How long is the room? It's about four. Eight. Three, four, five. Like nine? It looks like a small room, but. Hmm. I don't want to make it too big. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. I feel like I might as well. So on the reference, it looks like this side section is about a third. Hmm. I feel like this is good. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A little bit more than a third proportionally because if that was a third it would be like right here two thirds three thirds would be like right here hmm. and because of my portal room i can't extend the room too far this way i'm gonna probably make another garden or something over there not sure yet Mm, then I gotta remember this. Although I'm gonna put in a new floor here. This is probably not gonna be how it looks. There's two, three, four. This is gonna be the garden. I'll probably put a window right there. I got a ring from that. What are they called? Wraiths or something? Oh, Phantom. There you go. Resistance. Hmm.
Should we put the roof on? Uh, I guess we should, right? I'm gonna make it slope like the other one. Hmm. How do I do it over here? I have the corners where they have that, that edge. Or this bevel, whatever you would call it. That, right? That was this one. It's beveled. I feel like I went. Can I go too far on this? Yeah, it only goes over one. Yeah, it's the same. Okay. I felt like it was screwing with my eyes. What's the problem with having a pick that's too powerful? What does this thing have? Efficiency 4. You gotta like tap almost when you break. Are we gonna bevel this one? I'll keep it the same. I can't see shit because of this. <laughs> that's the problem with this texture pack I'm using with the shaders. Like, look at how white that is. I literally can't see shit. It's so goddamn white. Looks nice at night though. That sun side. Sun side looks crazy. But then you come on this side. Look at oh, it looks so nice. It looks glowy. Oh, it looks good. Definitely looks good in the shade. But I feel like I need to adjust the bloom. I've tried adjusting the bloom before on the shaders and like man it's like I couldn't I couldn't get it right I don't know just that wasn't seem or it didn't seem to come out right I don't know okay that's beveled I think I think we're doing good here did I put lights here like I said I can barely goddamn see uh, okay, so we need to put windows. I think I'm gonna decorate this later though. Oh man, look, it would look nice if we put a nice like corner window right here. Oh, that would look really good. I want it. Uh, how do I get in my house again? All right, let's come up here. It's dark as shit in here. Oh yeah, I forgot I gotta put the stupid floor. I don't know what to put for the floor. Oh yeah, duh, I gotta go look at... I gotta go look at my reference. Mm, looks like that's three. One, two, three, four. And then there's like a partition. Oh. I think I'm gonna need some more stone slabs. Yep, I'm gonna be short. Do I have any more? Terracotta. Oh, nice. I do have more. But not enough. Panel, vertical slab. What the hell's the difference? Aren't they the same? Smooth stone, vertical slab, smooth stone panel. Okay. I need four. Uh, 
I only make extra just in case. And we need some marble. Polished marble slab. Dang, dude, that looks hot. Is that the same one? I don't think that's the same one we've been using. Right? Oh yeah, because that's coarse. Duh. Not marble. We need quartz. Nice. Do we have the copper? Copper block. I don't think it oxidizes like in the new Minecraft though. I didn't realize that they only added copper blocks like just recently. I really don't like this blue. It looks like it looks like somebody has carpet and they just spilled a bunch of like blue paint on it. I don't like the way it looks. I want something more like stone stone-ish, you know? Well, what the hell is that? Grave bane? campus huh. I just type in slab that looks nice oh that's from autumn though we ain't getting that anytime soon hell no in the reference it looks like a blue kind of like this but it's not too many good choices wow that sapphire slab looks hot so many good choices of blue chiseled fungal imperious slab no idea where the hell you get that. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of disappointing. There's not really a blue that I can use. Maybe terracotta? Ugh. Nah. Maybe I could use the glazed terracotta? No, it looks too crazy. Yeah, I think we're just kind of screwed. Linen. I might just use wool. Fuck it. I don't really want to use wool. It's totally messed up because I like the way the concrete powder looks more than I like the actual concrete. Like the concrete, it looks like garbage. And then the concrete powder is like, oh my god. Why is it so blue? The concrete, concrete powder seriously looks hot. Uh, what do we need for concrete? That's stone, right? Yeah. Okay. I have changed my mind. I want blue concrete powder and I don't give a damn. That's what's gonna happen. I feel like my inventory is so full of crap. I need to clear some of this. I forgot about these nether bricks. I was working on the the hell shelves. Did I write that down? Gas tears for hell shelves. I wanted to work on that hell shelf too. That's something else we could do. Uh, all right. Well, we'll focus on this for now. Sand. Have blue dye? Oh yeah, I accidentally turned a ton of my lapis into blue and I was like, shit! <laughs> blue concrete. Yeah, it looks so much darker and then look at this. Oh my god, there's such richness to this blue. Oh my god, it's delicious. And then this looks so just... I mean, it looks good, but... Not as good as the blue concrete powder. Forget, is it gravel on top or sand on top? Okay, cool. So we need 22 for this. And we're going to need more for the top floor. I have no idea how much that's going to be. But we will worry about it when we get there. Look at that blue. Oh my god. That blue is magnifique. I don't like how it sounds like sand when you walk on it, but whatever. It's a small price to pay for gorgeous colors. What is this? Uh, 15? 
15 squares. Nice. Look at that blue. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, okay. So like I said, I'm not gonna... I promise. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I promise. Maybe that's going too far, but I'm going to try not to decorate this room because I actually want to do stuff in this episode. But let me just make this floor to ceiling window real fast. <laughs> uh, I still need to get a silk touch. I really need a silk touch. So where will we start it? We'll go up one. So right here. Right? Oh, dude, dude, look at it. It's already gonna look good. No way. Oh, it's gonna look good. So that'll come up one. So should I make it right here then? That's one, two, three, four. It's gonna look kind of weird because it's going into the floor, but. I feel like to maintain consistency, I probably should do that, right? Damn it, we're gonna have to put, oh no, I didn't think about that. Should I keep it going? Or should we end it right here? Hmm, I didn't consider that. Well, for now, let's do this. Let's do what we know is gonna work. Torches. Ooh, that looks good. Okay, for now, let's cover this up. See how that looks. Oh my god, that looks amazing. Although I don't like how there's no edge right there. Then I feel like this is too much. Okay, it looks better. Should we put another one there? Definitely gonna have to do some work to get the aesthetics of this. I guess that looks better. I don't know. Now I'm not sure. <laughs> now I'm like, uh, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't look better. And then we should put some torturinos. Yeah. Now the question is, maybe we should put some more stuff on top. Put like a little awning thing. I feel like it might detract from the windows, though. I forgot that that was right there. I wonder if I should take this out or just leave it. I should probably just leave it. Should we make it keep going all the way? I feel like that's going to be too excessive if we make it keep going all the way. Should we do one more? Then I kind of want to do like a corner window, like I was saying. A corner window would look really nice. It's tough, man. It's tough. For sure, I'm happy with this, but I feel like maybe we should put more. Put another one? But then will that leave room for a corner window? Hmm. Like this? God damn, because of that stupid horseshoe, I can't jump. We're not going to have a waterfall here. I feel like I overdid the shit out of the corner waterfalls. Hmm. Now the question is, is if we should do floor to ceiling. I always love floor to ceiling windows, but then I feel like it's making the house look too modern, you know? Not really down for the modern shit. Although, the way it looks, it's looking like a modern house already. Look at these sons of bitches. We can get through the window. Ooh. Hmm. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, eh, I don't kind of, I don't like the way it looks. I think I'm just going to leave this for now, and we will do this another day. For sure, I like this. Now I'm like, maybe we should put another one, huh, buddy? I'll have to put a half slab right there. 
But then if I want to put a window here... The reference... I'm supposed to put a window, like, right here flush with the stairs. And then there's, like, these tiny windows up top. It's kind of strange. I don't want to do that, though. I feel like if that's the case, I should just put, like, a... Is it a bay view window or whatever, like right here, a six, a three by two, and then definitely put some windows over here. Oh, I forgot. I'm going to have the walkway to the garden this way, right? Probably put some double doors right here. Yeah. Totally forgot about the garden. The Gardarino. Yeah, because then I'm going to put, like, a rooftop garden up here. Put a bunch of flowers and stuff. That'll look nice. It'll look fabulous. Uh, Alright, well, good enough. That satisfied me, at least for now. So. Uh, let me put all this shit away. And then we're gonna go do stuff. Okay, I totally forgot we gotta do the sword next, right? Okay, so theoretically... Oh no, this thing's got... Oh... It's got a million enchants on it. Uh, do we have more grave dust? Uh-oh. I wanna do this right. And I have a feeling, in order to do it right, we're gonna have to go do some farming. I feel like I should go to the desert if I'm gonna do it, though. Uh, I'm like, ah, uh, I don't want to. Hmm. Ah. Uh, we should do it. Let us... Hmm. I don't have any pearls in here. I don't even remember what I'm looking for. What am I looking for? <laughs> Rotten flesh. And then... Uh, what is it? Another pearl? Can't even remember what the hell they're called. Void pearl? <laughs> These thingies. Ender pearl. Oh yeah, duh. Wow, I don't have any more ender pearls? That's crazy. Okay, so for sure we need to fight endermen then. Since we're all out of ender pearls, man, I really hope we don't get a fucked one and, you know, we can't kill him. Monster coin. I should take those. Oh, yeah, in case you don't know, he added in this patch in the coin shop over here. Oh, my God. You can give monster coins for XP. It is bitchin'. I think it's only those ones. Mining, combat, magic, endurance, smithing. Man, he should put on wood cutting. I want to get wood cutting. <laughs> wood cutting such a pain in the ass to level. <laughs> Although I just found out I was watching some uh, Minecraft video. I didn't even know that you could make like the super spruce trees. So they were saying to make those super spruce trees and just make this giant cube of like this giant spruce tree cube and then just chop it all down so i'm like son of a bitch that would be a great way to level up wood cutting just make this giant like humongous spruce tree cube and then chop that shit up that would be really good okay we're gonna go be good boys and we're gonna go Ooh, we should go make that that arena that arena uh okay so i really want to go down to the desert look at all this space man we'll put it like right here that would be good let's do it let's do it uh i need to find where's my oh yeah right here my old arena take the bed now I feel bad. I like clear cut this whole forest and now I'm not going to use this spot anymore. Oh well. Not enough mana. I wish I could look down while I'm flying. I guess I could do, you know, third person mode.
is the spot I was saying, huh? Not too flat. I think I would probably use this as the ground level and then extend it out. Like dig out over here or something. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we're not going to do that right now. But for now, we can at least... Where are we going to set up the... Where would be a good spot to set up the portal? Hmm. Maybe along the beach or something? I feel like I probably should have brought some stone or something. So that way I can make a nice little pedestal or something for it. Maybe up here? This might be good. I kind of don't like it being so close to all these assholes, though, because they're going to attack me every time I teleport over here. I kind of don't like that. I don't like the idea of being harassed by these guys. Man, either they're getting buffer or my sword's getting crappier. Probably because of the scaling. I think they're scaling in this mod pack. Okay, since we don't want to get shot at, I think over here. We'll make it somewhere over here. This looks good. Maybe over here? Now let's go like right here. This looks good. Okay. So. What would be... Should I use the gold like I did last time? The terracotta? How did I do it? Did I do it pure terracotta or something? I don't remember. Did I do it all with the corners? I think for now, for ease of building, I'm just going to use gold. Hmm. Yeah, for ease of building, let's just use gold for now. Oops. Let's put on my mining. I can always make terracotta later. That's what I'll probably do. I'll probably put terracotta. All right, so what is this going to be? Desert? I should probably label it like overworld or something. What? I can't make it global? Desert? Arena. Overworld? How much can you type in? Oh, you can type a lot. Interesting. So you can't make it global then. Oh, that's right. I can't teleport because I don't got... <laughs> this stupid thing sucked up all my damn XP. That's going to get annoying. We really need to upgrade that... Desert Arena Overworld. So you can't make it global? I guess only the first one you can make it global? That's kind of fucked up. Alright, well, whatever. At least we have... At least we have... Teleport. Desert... Arena. Uh, I feel like we should probably make these a different color, huh? Black, maybe? No, because we use black for other stuff. Hmm. Blue? I guess I don't really use blue too often, right? Then I feel like it doesn't stick out as much. Don't I have a teleporter over here? Oh, I don't think so. That was on my old world, huh? Okay. Oops. Too used to that leap spell. It doesn't hurt you? Well, okay. Oops. 
We need a bed. And portal. Stash that stuff. Why do I have a stick in here? All right, he goes. Oops, I forgot. I gotta click on this. I wonder if they're gonna run away because of the sun. My gut tells me I should probably wait. Because I bet you they're gonna teleport away and instantly make me fail. No, because last time didn't I fight him during the daytime? <laughs> Pretty sure I did. Oh, that's why I wasn't doing that much damage. Duh, you stupid guy. I didn't have my shield equipped. I forgot it's got that Spartan thing on it. Oops. Dude, I bet you that's the reason why. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. I was like, oh, I'm doing shit damage. What happened? <laughs> I forgot. I have that Spartan enchant. Why are you guys hit so hard? I forgot. I need to get cobwebs. That's something else I should do. I need to write that down. Watch. I'm about to die right now. He's going to be some fucking legendary guy. Why are you guys watching so slow? That's some enchant or something I got on. Oh, look at all those ender pearls. Delish. Wow, you're buff. Why y'all do so fucking fast? Are you it? Oh, he's it. I won. I won, you son of a bitch. Yeah. Oh, look at all those ender pearls. Excellent. Okay. Uh, hey, they actually really didn't give me that much loot. I wonder if he nerfed it. Focus impact. More damage you deal. Another luck bracelet? Oh no, I forgot to put on the luck shit. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, uh. Is it raining? Uh, yeah, we should do that. Dude, look at all those ender pearls. Holy crap. Uh, let's make two for now, right? Yeah, we'll make two. Okay, we got two pearls. What the hell is this? Resistance? What do I... Oh, yeah, bracelets. All right, let's put these bracelets on. Let's get some of that look. Take off the stupid one ring, because that don't do shit. Uh, I really need to make a slow spell. That's really what I need to do. I was thinking about getting... Cobwebs, but now that I'm thinking about it... Like, why get cobwebs? Slow fall. Is there a glyph that will slow motherfuckers down? Oh, I see some some unscrupulous fellows running towards me. Intangible glyph, ignite, flare. You guys better not come over here and attack me, because I'll beat the shit out of you. They're gonna come attack me. Snare. Oh, snare? Oh yeah, this has got to be it. We should probably do that. Because that's I feel like this is the only way that's going to save me from, uh, you know, the super legendary motherfuckers that one-shot me. That has to be it, Snare. I mean, it uses a cobweb. Like, how can that not be it? I think these guys are hostile. Hey, y'all dudes hostile? Oh, oh yeah, they're hostile. How come it doesn't show their name above anymore? It used to say like if they had a like some kind of tooltip or something. I wonder if it's probably some button that I disabled on accident. That's probably exactly what happened. All right, let's make this snare glyph because I wanna. Oh damn it! I forgot. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna teleport. <laughs> uh, no, you're not. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's make this snare glyph. <sighs> I can't even teleport. <laughs> Man, I'm so done with this scroll already. This shit's annoying. <laughs> I was over here like, dude, this scroll is so cool. It's the best thing I ever made. Not really. 
I want the goddamn uh hundred percent XP keep. You know when you die from Corail Tombstone. Uh okay, why did I come back? <laughs> Glyph of Snare. Oh dude, I don't think I even have cobwebs. Uh-oh. <gasps> I do! I don't know how I got them, but apparently I do. Yeah, I was saying, I was gonna straight up just get cobwebs. And, uh, be a cheating motherfucker and just, you know, throw down cobwebs if some legendary attacked me. Because it's like, dude, they're so bullshit. Like, if you're gonna put some kind of god monster that I can't even kill, you expect me to fight fair? Like, come on, dog. Like, fuck off. I ain't gonna fight fair if this motherfucker is basically a god. And he's unkillable. And he's gonna one-shot me. Should probably put it on 10. So that way it's easier to swap. Alright, so we will put projectile or should we put ray? I feel like ray will be safer because I can just spam it. I don't if I miss, it doesn't really matter. AoE and then snare. Does it matter if you put Oh, you have to put AoE first. Can I not put the name? Okay. Slow. Uh. Slow enemies? I should come up with some cool name, like the chains of... The chains of the hippopotamus. <laughs> hippopotamus? Like that? Ah! Oh. oh, it didn't work. Chains of the hippopotamus. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so cool. How big is that AoE? Can I do it to myself on accident? Dang, it seems like it takes a lot of mana. Alright, let's try it out on guys because I don't even know if it'll work. Snare, right? Snare, ray. The desert arena. That's why I took off my stupid shield, because it gets kind of annoying to have to... Oh yeah, look at that. Wait, we need somebody who's gonna come after us. Yeah, see like this bullio. Yeah, look at dude, he can't even move. How long does it last for? Holy shit! Dude, that lasts a long time. Whoa. That's crazy. I'm kind of laughing at myself because here I was thinking that I was becoming weak. I was like, man, I'm becoming so weak. <laughs> it's just because I took off my shield. That's hilarious. What is this? Guster Eye. Uh, let's look that up. Maybe that's something important. Dude, that snare spell looks hell OP. Guster Eye. Gust Maker. Pocket of Sand. Huh. I wonder what that does. Interesting. Anyways. Uh, what are we doing? Killing zombies? We need more grave dust. Okay. Sorry, my doggies started barking because my cousin just left my house. Okay. Let's put this puffer down. I feel like I should probably put lights, right? So I can see. Uh, we don't really need lights. I have it on snare? I do. Dude, I love that name. Chains of the Hippopotamus. I really like that shit. I gotta call it with better names for my spells. I love that shit. That's great. It sounded like somebody was coming behind me. It kind of creeped me out. We're gonna make a nice fat arena here someday. Man, I got all this luck stuff. Where's the good loot? Plus two luck. Look at that damage. Oh my god. Tons of damage. Forgot. Keep that out. We fine. Look at this shit. It's <laughs> so dirty. So dirty. Let me just keep you right there. Look at that dirty ass shit. Sound like there was somebody behind me. Ooh, we got a grave dust thingy. Essence of undeath. Oh my god, that's some good shit. More motherfucking graves. Magic siphon, what's that? 
Absorb beneficial effects. Eh, that's like whatever. Power, impaling. I don't know if this is a good spell. Ares Grace. Increases damage against protected enemies. I don't even know what that means. Does that mean that they have a shield? Does that mean that they have like tons of armor? Like what exactly does protected mean? Maybe if they have... Oh, a familiar stone? Another one? Speed ring. Speed. Uh, okay. Oops, I didn't see that. Strength. Another one. Uh, I don't remember what I was saying. What was I saying? Wow, look at this guy. I think I was saying I feel like it's dirty to use the snare spell. Yeah, it's pretty fucking dirty. <laughs> undead army? What is this, Terraria? I forgot about the stupid undead army. Oh, no. Guys, I'm busy right now. Well, I was wondering if this episode was going to get interesting, and it just got interesting. I got a necklace. I should take off my cross necklace and put on... Uh, take off my cross necklace and put on... Oh god, what the fuck was that? Is that the skeletons? <laughs> that creeped me out. Hey, look, guys, I'm busy. Alright, can you come back later? We, we're doing we're doing shit here, okay? Can you guys like? You guys got shit to do? I'm busy fighting a million fucking guys right now, so I can't pay attention to you. Wow, that guy's probably not gonna die. I can't see because all this damn fire. 18 seconds! Dude, no way. This guy's too buff. I don't think he's gonna fucking die. With all these assholes hitting me, too. Just believe! Ah! <laughs> I was like, just believe! You can do it! <laughs> uh, Not gonna happen. <sighs> Undead army, wave one, huh? Are you guys done? You fucking up my mojo here. I don't think I would have beat it anyways, even without them attacking, but... Where the hell did they go? Is that them? It's a skeleton. He's glowing for some reason. Oh, yeah, look. The ghosties. I think those are from the grave over here, the graveyard. Why are you over here, dude? Why'd you get stuck? We have got some big problems. We have too much loot. I wonder if they'll go away eventually. <sighs> All right, tattered cloth. What is this? Definitely fluked edge. Another luck. Dude, I'm busy, okay? I'm trying to, like, put shit away. Can you leave me alone? Still don't know where the rest of these stupid skeletons went. <laughs> it says there's still skeletons here. Where the fuck are they? That's wave two. So apparently it's going now. I was still putting stuff away too. Oh, you know this crap. Should probably just get like a chest or something and throw all that stuff in there. Let's get a chest, a couple chests, because I want to actually look at this loot that I'm getting and not just throw it in my bank and totally forget about it. 
Because I know if I just throw shit in there, which I've already done, I'm gonna not even know what it is that dropped. And I'm gonna- and I won't find it until fucking God knows when. So. Put chest for now. The hell did they go? Where's my paraglider? Where the hell did they go? Are they inside? Hmm. Oh, there you go. What are you guys doing over here? Cool. Next wave. Should probably take this stuff off. Hold on, let me take this off. Because I don't really care about my luck with these guys. Cool helmet. <laughs> I like how this guy's got flippers. I thought I saw somebody up here. Man, you guys always get stuck right here. Spooky scary army. Defeat the third wave. Oh, I won. Thought I still had more to go. And we got some treasure. Yeah, this definitely looks like Terraria. <sighs> Who the fuck? Uh, jump boost. Reaching, yeah. Slayer. Razor's Edge. I want to see what that tattered cloth is about. Because in Terraria, you're able to make... Oh, yeah, look at that. Undead Army. Tattered Tome. Summons the Undead Army. Yeah, you're able to do that in Terraria with... Oh, what's this? Open the first undead treasure bag, Slayer, Buddy Binding. As long as the player didn't receive damage recently. Huh. That's it! Nothing else? One with the blade. Having only your sword boosts damage. Yeah, that sounds cool. That's like the kind of thing I would totally use, but... I already have that Spartan thing. That Spartan one seems pretty OP. Oops, I just put my paraglider in there. Good thing I noticed. If I didn't notice, I would have been looking for that thing for a long time. <laughs> I've been like, what happened to my paraglider? Oh, look at this crap. Yeah, that was that luck necklace, huh? I should <laughs> I should probably take off my cross necklace. Put on that luck one. What do I do? This one? Yeah, there you go. Damn, I got a couple. Noise. Uh, let's put all this stuff in here for now. This is the rest of the junk that I needed, right? White marble. 
I don't want to sort my inventory because then it's going to jumble all this up. So I ain't going to sort. All right. I think we're good. <sighs> For now. Till we get even more stuff. Necklace, two bracelets. All right, put the necklace on. Two bracelets. One ring. Oops. And I finished that zombie one, right? Look at that. I got nine grave dust. I need four for making... Uh... Let's make three. I need four for making a book of disenchantment. And I feel like this whole episode was just building and then it's going to be just farming these zombos. I don't know what else we'll do. I have a feeling that's going to be it. We're already like at an hour. Let's kill some more zombos. Don't I need something else? Can't remember what else I'm missing. Man, look at this guy. This guy's a real winner. Some more grave dust. I like. Another luck necklace, that's nice. Damn, cool. Oh, I'm bleeding, that's why I was like, what's up? How am I getting hurt? Yeah, there's only a couple grave dust. That sucks. Well, for sure, I'm just going to do all these because I want to at least make two more disenchanting books. Take that one off. Already talked about all that stuff. Uh, Where is it? Right here. Oh, no, that's Book of Repairing. Book of Disenchantment. Uh, For sure, I need... Maybe two for this, because it has five enchants on it, so I'm... Depending on my luck, I might have to only use one book, or if I'm not lucky, then I'll have to use two. And then, I'll have to disenchant some of these. I'm going to need a ton of books, but I want to at least get... I want to at least get four. So, let's keep going with the grave dust, so I can build another grave. That'll be good. I'm going to finish up these portals, and then we will go do our sword, and then probably hop off because it's pretty late. Like I said, we're already like going to be in an hour and a half almost, so we should probably get off. I seriously don't know how streamers do it. I've already been talking like a ton. I'm already fucking like tired of talking. Like, I don't know how the fuck streamers do it. They're like, oh yeah, they're streaming for like, what is this, East? They're streaming for like four, eight hours or whatever and you're talking like the whole time. I'm just like, holy shit, dude, no thanks. <laughs> like, how do you guys do it? I'm already tired of talking after like 30 minutes. I'm like, dude, okay, time to shut the fuck up. I don't get it. Uh oh. Big boy, huh? I wish it wouldn't knock him back. Oh, that's my thingy, huh? Oh no, knockback resistance. This one! Take it off! We don't want this damn slingshot. It's gonna cause me trouble. You can look at Enderman. Night vision. I guess just that one. The rest of these are kind of whatever. Poor chicken. And he left his innocent bystander. Uh, that was the first one, right? 
Power, Cavalier, Temptation. East. I feel like all these rings are so garbage. Apparently, see, that's an uncommon. Apparently, you can get, like, a legendary one or whatever, so it's permanent, which I think is a better addition compared to the older ones where they just were always permanent. But it's still kind of annoying because it seems they don't drop. The higher your attack speed, the more damage you deal. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Two more gates. Oh my god. Didn't I only get like one more grave dust? That kind of sucks. Where's the rest of the grave dust? Panacea. I know what that is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You need to relax, buddy. Holy shit. I'm bleeding. Hell is this wound? I don't know what that does? Fuck! I forgot to look at my my armor and stuff. I haven't looked at him in a while. I guess we haven't fought like a crazy legendary in a bit. Oh, <laughs> speaking of which, you know we were just talking about you, you son of a bitch. Time is it? 20 seconds? We got enough time. I feel like we definitely need to take off the, uh... Ooh, wow, that wasn't even wave 5. <laughs> Holy shit. I feel like I need to take off the, uh... My balloon, because it makes it very hard for me to do crits when I have the balloon on. Otherwise I jump super high in the air, but I'm already critting all the time. See, I feel like it's not even that much more damage. What? <laughs> Sounded like there was another zombie. I was like, huh? Uh, okay. Anything good? Swift blade, horse blast, feather falling. Horse feather falling. Razor's Edge. Displacement. Displacement's really good, but for these events, it is not good. Mobs explode when after they are defeated. That might be really fucking good for AoE. Depending on how much damage it does, you know? Max level is 3. I really want to try that out to see how that works. So that could be really good for crowds, especially with these, uh, Portals. Sharpness. Silk step. Health synergy. No, that's not it. Nothing good. The best thing I'm getting out of this is grave dust, like straight up. Did I just put away something I wasn't supposed to? Unbreaking. Wasn't there something over here? <laughs> I think I did put away something I wasn't supposed to. God damn it. I wish you could lock items like Terraria. You probably can, I just don't know how to. That's what we need. We need item locking. Okay. Last portal. And we're out of here. I should have enough grave dust to make those enchant thingies. Man, look at all those ender pearls. That was only from one ender gate, wasn't it? Or pearl? Monster pearl, whatever it's called. That's a shitload of ender pearls. I could dig it. Wait for man, the loot is skimp on this one. Where's the good loot? 
Maybe it is good and I just don't know it. Noise. You probably gotta do the higher level pearls, huh? Let me go look. Zombie pearl? Isn't it? It's like you're doing the small one. Entities, two times zombies. I have Ender. Dude, I could totally do that. <laughs> I'm really tempted to try that out. I have Ender. I have a bunch of blaze powder now. I should totally do that next time. Because I feel like it's getting too easy for me. Unless, unless it's a goddamn legendary, then of course that's not easy. But I feel like... I'm at that point where we should probably start doing the big boy gates. At least for the zombies, I can handle it. Mm, let me put that one back. Alright, let's take these bracelets off. This ring. That necklace. That's a nice magic find. I don't even think this all stacks, huh? Look at now the luck's counting down. I bet you only like two of them stack because it says luck two. Hmm. I never thought about it. Oh well. What are you gonna do? We're gonna get out of here is what we're gonna do. Sneak. Yeah, there you go. Home base. Uh, yeah, we put everything away. Let's keep a stack of ender pearls just in case. You know what? Let's get that blaze for next time. Should we make like a stack? I wonder of the void ones. So we could find the stronghold? Probably do it with 16, right? I haven't done the stronghold in so long, so that's why I'm like, I have no idea. I would think that we would be able to. It's eight of them. Man, that one you gotta kill a wither to do this, the top one? That's crazy, dude. So we'll do that next time. Zombie gate pearl. For now, uh, we made a black grave last time, right? I think we need stone, don't we? Oh, uh, we need bone meal. <clears throat> or is it die? I don't remember. No, it's bone meal. Marble! Okay, what's the one that we should make? Because I don't remember which ones we have. We have a cross. And this one. Oh, that's it. Okay. So a cross and that one. Regular grave. Kind of like that. It looks cool. Let's go with that one. Oh, I need five though. Well, I already used that much. Bam. Oh, yeah. Looks good. Okay. Now, oops, I forgot. We need lapis and we need a book. Three books. Lapis. Need what? 12? Now we begin the harrowing ordeal of making what? Oh, I forgot about the books. Oops. Only got one book. 
I thought I got two. Or did it bug out? We begin the harrowing ordeal. Right click on a grave soul with this book in the off hand and an enchanted item in the main hand. The harrowing ordeal of enchanting our shit. Disenchanting our shit. You strip some enchantment from the item. There's two left. You said you take off four. Oh, it did take off four. Wasn't there five though? No, that was it. Oh, I got so lucky. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I got so lucky because that was the shit I wanted off. Spartan weapon and ender mending are really good. The rest of this is like, eh, whatever. Bone crushing against bare chested skeletons. Who gives a shit? I don't even know what the hell this does. Weapons will react to temperature and receive effects of the counterpart. I have no idea what that does. Sweeping edge increases damage by sweeping. Impaling against natural ocean mobs. I mean, that sweeping edge is good, but who cares? I did not want to do that. Oh my god. I should not have clicked that. <laughs> Oops. Uh, What do we have in there? That. Right? That just like raped my eyeballs. I can't even process what just happened. <laughs> That's a bad button. I don't like that button. <laughs> Extract. Okay, so attack speed minus damage. More attack damage. I should probably just leave it like that. Okay, so what do we want next? What's going to be the baddest shit? The Vorpal is kind of like a crit, isn't it? Randomly performs powerful attacks and decapitates. That's like a crit, right? I mean, I like crit. Sharpness is guaranteed damage. Echo. Every few seconds, you you will attack twice. I have no idea if that's good. It could be totally shit. I wonder if it's going to hit twice. Critical hit. Gives a chance to inflict non-standard critical hits. I wonder because I already have like 90% crit on this. So is this like a separate crit roll or non-standard? Poison cloud. 30% chance to summon a poison cloud that deals damage to enemies in the area for three seconds. That sounds really cool. I remember in Minecraft Dungeons, that was hella sick. I really like that. It was hella OP in Minecraft Dungeons, so I don't know if it's going to be OP in this. It might be utter garbage. Oh, that's what it is. We need looting for fucking sure. Slayer, increased damage against monsters. Has a chance to target armor durability. I don't know if we should use this because it might be good against legendaries, but I know people were saying, I guess later on you fight like some monsters that have netherite armor and it's a pain in the ass to kill them. So I wonder if this would be good because it would break their armor. But then there's that Ares thing. Where is it? Petrol strike. Oh, see that one's really good too. Damage increases every consecutive hit on the same target. That sounds like it would be OP. Max level three, and this is a level, what is that, six? Oh, I feel like that would be really strong. And then the Slayer. And then the Ares Grace, but I don't understand how Ares Grace works. I feel like I have to look that up. Sharpness. Look at all this shit already. It's like, oh no, there's too many enchants. Okay, well for sure we want looting. Like without a doubt, we want to put looting on it. So let's get the looting. Wow, this is so fucked. I ended up with <laughs> netherite. Huh? Did I put on my sword? Oh, you idiot. Ah, I put on my sword. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I'm so I have such the habit of always switching to my number one <laughs> fuck oh well all right well that was one wasted book has stripped the item of all of its enchants we don't really care about unbreaking we want the looting I feel like I should probably okay we need to put this in here so I don't do that again <laughs> on accident 
We want looting. Spartan weapon. Endermending. For sure. I don't even know how many enchants this thing can have on it. Because apparently I had like six on it. Because it had these four plus endermending and Spartan weapon. So it can have at least six. I know. Maybe it can have more. Who knows? Uh, we want that Slayer because I have a feeling Slayer is going to be really OP. We only have one more. Oh no. I think that's the only one I was going to use besides Ares Grace, but I don't even know what that really does. Oh no, sharpness, shit. And Vorpal. What sounds like it'll do more damage? Slayer or sharpness? Sharpness 5. Increases your weapon's attack damage. What does that add? Like 2.5 hearts or something like that of damage? But then Slayer says increased damage against monster. So isn't it like the same thing? Like, what's the difference? Uh, but then I really want Poison Cloud. I really want to try that out. I'm going to put Poison Cloud for sure. Probably going to regret it. Something tells me it's going to be garbage in Minecraft. Your damage increases every consecutive hit. That would be great on the legendaries. Ah, uh, straight up. That would be like the armor breaking because if your damage... I wonder if it's... Like, does it stop at a certain point or does it just keep going? Hmm. <sighs> Too many choices. I don't like it. I don't like e. Slows and weakens the target. What? What? That would be really good against legendaries. That would be like really good. But it's not damage though. It's just survival. Ah, that would be so good. Oh, what's the max level on it? Two. That would be so good for survival. Like when you get the frost, uh, what's it called? Icy dragon sword or whatever. Frost. Ice dragon. Oh yeah, they changed the icons to dragon steel. When you get these ice weapons, oh, they are so broken. And you freeze them. You freeze the monsters. I'm curious to see how the lightning is. Strikes targets with lightning. I really want to try out that lightning. I haven't played the new versions of Ice and Fire with the lightning dragons. It sounds cool in theory, but I have a feeling the ice one is probably still going to be broken. Like, it is broken straight up. If you've never done Ice and Fire, you need to try out uh, the ice weapons from the ice dragons. It is so fucking broken. It freezes monsters. They literally cannot do shit. They just like stand there and they're just like, well, fucking kill me. Did I just dupe on accident? How did that happen? I thought I only had one left. I have two? <laughs> or was I not counting? Oh, wait. I only have one soul left. Duh. All right. Well, that's that. I have this bitch and netherite sword, but uh, it's my combat. 53 and I need what 65 to use this thing that's gonna be a while uh all right well we need another soul so we will save that for now what is this oh echo sharpness and that vorpal I don't know if we're gonna be able to fit all that streakers will is that the one that does more damage oh chance to target dim target durability there's just so much. I feel like for sure the perpetual strike is going to help on the legendary guys. Like, without a doubt. I think that's going to fuck them up. Now the question is, do I even have enough enchant or enough XP, enough sex P to, uh, you know, put all this shit on? Five, six. I don't even remember how this works, isn't it? It's like, depending on how expense, what? What? I can't, oh, it only works on the Minecraft dungeon weapons. Oh no, that sucks. Oh well. Yeah, the thing is hell expensive, that Spartan weapon, as it should be. It's a hell of a good move. 
So, should I put the expensive stuff on first? Or is it just like, am I just fucked either way? Five. See, now these were five before, now they cost eight. And these ones cost, oh, they are a little bit more expensive. I feel like it almost doesn't even matter. Is it actually going to take 13 levels from this, or is it a set amount of XP? Yeah, it took 13 levels. What? I can't put it on? I was able to put it on earlier. Just because I have Spartan Weapon, it conflicts with it? Well... That's fucked up, bro. What the hell? Is that a glitch? Ah! That's very annoying. It let me put it on in the beginning, so I wonder if the Spartan weapon can't be put on if Perpetual Strike's on, or is that just a glitch? What the hell? <sighs> All right, well, we need to save that because I don't know. I, I do not know. I don't know if it's a glitch or we're going to have to try again. Should I disenchant? No, because I have no fucking... <laughs> I can't disenchant because I have no... Uh... Hey, are you coming in or what? Come on. You got an anvil repair for me? Mm, no. Well, you got iron, so that's good at least. Alright, anyways, where were we? Mr. Gobolino, I'm a little busy right now. So I can't even put that one on, because that's another Minecraft dungeon sword. <sighs> Streakers will. I'm very disappointed about that. I'm gonna have to go farm a ton more and wait for my souls on my graves to appear back again so I could test that out if Perpetual Strike will work with that Spartan one. We don't need Echo. Oh, I just realized even Echo is another one of those Minecraft dungeons buffs. Wow, that sucks. So I should put on Sharpness then? I got Slayer, Ender, Spartan Weapon, Looting. Or Vorpal. I should probably just put Sharpness on, right? The Vorpal will work on... Yes. Let's do Sharpness because it's guaranteed damage. Oh wait, I forgot. I'm out of fucking souls. I can't do that. Well... I need to wait for more souls then. That's all I can do. I need more souls. Oh, there's the books. Oops. That sucks, bro. These are all Garbo. Oh, Unbreaking 3. That's good. Huh. Well, I guess we'll go try out this weapon on the big ass zombie gate, right? So what's different? The only thing that's different is that it's layer five and then the looting on it. So it should have more luck, right? In theory. I already have luck too. How do I have luck too? I don't know what the hell is giving me luck to. Do I just have some? Oh yeah, isn't I have something on here that's lucky, isn't it? Attack speed. No. I don't know what it is. How do I have luck? I 
thought I had something else, but now I'm confused. It says luck one. Don't get it. Whatever. I'm not going to question it. All right. Let's get out of here and let's go fight some monsters again. Desert. Oops. Did I switch? Time for the big portal. So all I got is Slayer. It's probably not going to be that impressive since I don't have that Streaker's Fool on it, but... See what happens. So after this, guys, I'm going to hop off, uh, assuming I don't die horribly. Because this is a big boy portal. Luck. There's that damn Slayer again. Am I doing increased damage? Wow, look at this guy. This guy is, uh, he's different. <laughs> he looked like a fucking astronaut scuba diver. It's still five waves. Doesn't really seem all that different to me. I say that now, but I'm about to go to like the next super hard wave watch and I'm going to get fucking destroyed right now. Undead army again. Arrgh. God. Is it just because I'm killing all these zombies, I wonder? Probably. This is the final wave, buddy. Cool. Yeah, that wasn't even that bad. It seemed like the same to me. Ton of luck stuff. That's cool. Necklace, power, master's call, piercing, I'm about to get fucking surrounded. What the hell? You got a spawner even? Man, you guys got it all. I really need to use my dodge. I never dodge. Wow. Well, I was supposed to get off, but, uh, you know, Zombos. Oops. Where are the monsters at? Did they get trapped again over here? This dude on fire? Arcana. Why do I feel like I'm so slow? Oh, there he is. Dude, what are you doing over here? Like, for real? I don't know if you've checked, but the fucking... The goddamn invasion ain't over there. It's over here. Yeah, I was supposed to get off, and then these assholes started attacking me, so I'm like, great. I guess it's based off of how many zombies you kill or whatever? I don't know. Wow, they're just going straight over there. I'm right here, though. Man, that's so cool. <laughs> that's pretty cool using Leap. Damn, I didn't realize I'm blading. I got time to Leap. Where the hell did this guy go? I 
I don't see anything. Oh, there you are. Wave defeated. What was here? <laughs> oh yeah, the iron ore, that's what it was. Is this the final wave? Wave three? Isn't this the last one? Why are you so fast? Because of how fast that guy was. He scared me. These guys just get stuck. Aren't you supposed to come straight for me? These are road runners? Yeah, it is a road runner. That looks cool. What are you doing over here? Victory! Yeah, that's a lot of garbage. Alright, let's look at this loot, and then I'm gonna hop off. What is in here? Probably a bunch of garbage. Let's put all this stuff in here, so that way... So I don't get confused about what's the loot from here. Overcharge. Lifesteal aura. It's only on those Minecraft dungeon... Pantalones. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, this, uh, undead army's kind of garbage. I mean, I don't want to be rude, but the monster portals are a little better. Unbreaking, all these luck. I think we got all these luck ones from the zombie portal, though. Oops, I forgot to take off all these. I don't even know if the hell, if they work at all, but we gotta take them off. All right, guys, I think that is it. Ugh. It kind of sucks. I feel like uh, I feel kind of annoyed about the the enchants because I couldn't get that one enchant I wanted. I mean, I was, I got looting and slayer on this thing, so that's good at least, but. I'm still like, ah, I need to farm more now, but I guess I don't have the souls anyways, so there's kind of no point for me to farming. So I think next time, what did we do? Monster portal, consolidate. <sighs> I need to consolidate the enchants even more so. Uh, we still need to farm Coral mats. I think... Might make the arena. I want to make those hell shelves because I want to make that stupid. I want to make that enchantment library or whatever it's called. The thingy that holds all the enchants. Uh, and then farm wither skulls for sure. I think that's what we'll probably do next time. All right, guys, I'm going to hop off. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.